everyone, my name is Lily Icud and I am one of the trumpet instructors for Key to Joy Music. Uh, you've probably been assigned your instrument now. So today, I'm going to show you how to put your instrument together. And we're going to actually start by learning how to open the case. A piece of advice when you're opening your trumpet case, please don't open it in your lap. Put the trumpet case on the floor in front of you and open it from there. Today I'm going to demonstrate it on a chair just so that you can see it. I put the case down with the logo side on top. The handle will be facing your body. There will be two clasps and you open it up like this and voila! The trumpet is intact and it's very safe here. So now I can take out the trumpet and put it together. All right. When you look inside your case, you will notice there are two parts. Unlike the clarinet and the flute that have several parts, you're very lucky because you only need to put together two pieces. The first piece is the mouthpiece. You are going to insert it into the body of the trumpet. Now when you insert the mouthpiece, you don't need to push on it. You just need to slip it in and that's it. No force is needed. It just sits there and it'll be great. Next I'd like to teach you how to hold your trumpet so that you can play it in a few minutes. I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to wrap it around these three valves located here. So if I make a C with my left hand, then I'll just bring it around and wrap it around the three valves. You'll notice where my pinky is. It fits right inside of this ring. Now some trumpets won't have this ring and that's okay. Your pinky will just stay there. If you have a ring, you can put your finger inside there. You can also adjust. If it's too close or not close enough to your pinky, you can use this screw here to adjust it back and forth. Okay? So with my right hand, I will take my pointer finger and place it on top of the first valve. And then my middle finger goes right on top of the second valve and ring finger goes right on top of the third valve. Okay, now I have a pinky up here. You'll see the fish hook or the hook right here. You can put your pinky inside it, although I like to tell my students to put it on top. Either will work. With my thumb, I don't want to just leave it hanging here. So I'm going to place it in between the first and second valves. I'm going to turn the trumpet around so that we can see what that looks like. And then everything is resting on top. 